All right, everybody, it's John here. Um, I was asked to do a uh, cleaning video of my chimney, my Dura vent for my Castle pellet stove uh, Serenity model. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. There's um, two things to remember before you start doing this though. One, you wanna do this first. You don't want to uh, do this after you clean the inside of the stove because the method I'm using isn't recommended by Dura vent or Castle. So I'm gonna use a leaf blower and um, the cleaning rod for chimneys that I bought at Lowe's. So you wanna make sure, one, that uh, that you didn't clean the stove in the inside first. You know, see my video prior to learning how to clean the stove. This is my third year with this stove and um, I have not had one problem. Uh, I clean it religiously. I clean it after the inside after a 40 pound bag and uh, probably a once a week, I'll clean the vent just to make sure nothing gets uh, built up in there and whatnot. And you definitely want to do that. It'll, you know, it'll uh, prolong the life of the stove itself. So with that being said, the number two thing is you definitely want to uh, make sure that doors close <laughs> in the inside. Um, yeah, make sure doors close in the inside. I'm uh, still hearing about that. Anywho, so here we go. Um, this is the Duravent I bought with the pellet stove. It goes up to the to the top of the, the property or top of the thing. It's in between the windows. It's 18 inches between the windows, what it recommends. Some people might look at this and say, you're kidding, you're crazy. But like I said, three years, not one issue. I get no odor in the inside. So you start off by taking off the bottom cap. Um, the bottom cap's gonna have a little uh, stuff in there. As you can see, it's, it comes out. Um, just shake it off, you know. Um, so I start off with the rod. I get the rod. I had to trim the bristles on this a little bit. Um, the, the plastic bristles were kind of uh, large to go up inside the vent. I couldn't work my magic shoving it up in there, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna get dirty on this job. So I recommend you, you know, not wear white suit and tie, you know? So just get that up in there and you can see that that shit's coming down. Work it up in there. Watch your hands on this. Those are kind of sharp. We're getting there. Uh, yeah. All right. So, so that's 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 the first step in doing it. Second step is, like I said, not recommended by Duravent or Castle. Um, I use a leaf blower, um, just a regular electric leaf blower. The only thing that sucks is it's going to rain down soot. So but it will clean. And like I said, make sure that door in the inside is closed because this will blow right in the house. <sighs> Boom. You can see the stuff coming down. You can hit in the face with it. You don't need to do it that long. And uh, once you got that tackled, that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I do this probably once a week. Um, like I said, this will build up in there, but other than that, you put your damn cap back on. Twist it. Um, I check everything out here, making sure uh, nothing's blocked in for my uh, clean air intake. Um, the stove looks good. I just had new siding put on and uh, they put this back on. That was one of my concerns. I wanted to make sure this thing was put together back right. So everything looks good. And uh, now we'll go inside and uh, I gotta clean it. It's fucking cold out here. So I wanna get that fired back up. Thanks for watching and uh, like I said, this stuff is not recommended, or at least the leaf blower, by uh, Duravent or Castle. So, but it fucking works. Let me tell you, three years, not one problem with this stove. Highly recommend it. All right guys, have a good day and I'm getting the hell out of this cold.